Hello friends, welcome to Amit Think. In this video, we'll be learning how we can create model in Bootstrap 4. Model is basically a dialog box which you can see, which you can generate on a button click, and it is generally visible on the top of the page. Like for example, you may have seen the JavaScript pop up that you need to enable JavaScript on this web page, and this way you can create other models which are which is a dialog box, or you can also say that which is a pop up window. So firstly, we will see how we can create a model. We also need to create a model dialog and with that we can set the model content as well as the header title and footer for the model with that we also see how we can fade a model and how we can resize a model firstly we will see how a model looks like how a pop-up looks like on a web page here is an example here is a warning pop-up let's say i have used this for our example when you will click on it it will generate a model which is you can see by default on the top of the page it has a heading with warning the text restart the system to avoid any field update and a button to close it it is also having an icon to close it now let's see what we have done we have used all these classes here let's see one by one now we have a div class container that is a fixed width we have set the container i should close it first okay so we have a button now the button is visible text is warning for the button with that we have set the class of the button to be btn info this is to set the color for the button now we have used a data toggle attribute which is model as well as a data target attribute here we have set the attribute as demo model which is the id which we use for the model div class which is here so this is a div for model we have set the model dialog first then under that model content is set under model content you can set the header title as well as the body and footer for the model so moving further our header is under h4 and we have set the title under the header as warning which is visible here then we have also set a button and we have added a html character which is and times and times is here the cross sign so we have added another div class model header so you can see under header the text is visible which is the title as well as the icon to close is visible that's why we have set the class to be closed then we move on to the model body which is this restart the system to avoid any failed updates you can add any content here you can also add a list here moving below we have a footer here on the footer you can set a button like uh, i've set update failed button you can set it like close it to close it because we have set the data dismiss attribute here so it will close the pop-up so i'll click on close and it has closed it so this was our code through which we have set the model content then we set header and title gets added in the header then we set the close icon using and times character html character then comes the body and then the footer of the model now we will see how we can center the model dialog because we have seen other classes till now all of them now we'll see how to center it using model dialog centered class now i'll set it here now i'll run it on running now let's see i'll click on warning and it is centered not on the top why because we use the model dialog centered class now we have reached here now we'll see how we can fade model so that it looks like it is closing for that you need to use the fade class now let's add the fade class here now i'll run it now let's click the warning again now i'll close it here you can see the fading effect is visible now if i'll remove the fade class now i'll run it again now you can see the difference Close. it closes instantly but with the fade class it is opening and closing using fade effect now we'll see how to resize the model we can create a smaller one and the larger one model when compared with the default size for a smaller one use model sm class here under model dialog because we want a smaller model dialog now i'll run it on running now you can see the pop-up box the model is smaller than a default size now if i'll change it to lg that is large it will be larger than a default size now i'll run it after running i'll click on it now it is larger than the default size in this way you can resize your model so in this video we learn how to work with model in bootstrap 4 model is basically a pop-up or a dialog box we created a model we added a model dialog we centered the model we added model content using model content class we added title and a header class with that we have also set the body of the model 
and we have also set the footer. We have added the fade effect to the model as well using the fade class. The fade class will be affected when you will close as well as open the model. We have also set the size of the model. You can resize the model size that would be smaller than the default as well as larger than the default size. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, kindly share it with others. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.